When I was in residency training in emergency medicine, patients in whom I couldn't get an IV ended up getting central lines. This was a long time ago. Then ultrasound machines started becoming more available, and I started using the ultrasound to find deep veins in the arms, and that really decreased the number of central lines I was placing. But in a patient who needs an IV, but doesn't have good external veins, not even by looking with the ultrasound, then the choice was basically between a central line and an intraosseous line, an IO. Of course, IOs are typically reserved for code situations, and they're very painful. So now I'm going to tell you about a new alternative to placing a central line in that scenario, and it's called the Easy IJ. Essentially, in this procedure, you're going to place a long IV directly into the internal jugular vein using ultrasound guidance. So what tools do you need? The tools you'll need are essentially the same as the ones you'll need for placing an ultrasound-guided IV, except for the IV itself is longer and is at least an 18 gauge. To keep this procedure sterile, place a biofilm over the ultrasound probe and don't touch that sterile part. So let's start to do the procedure. First, sterilize the skin with chlorhexidine. Then place the sterile gel on the skin and ask your patient to perform the Valsalva so that the IJ gets nice and large and place the catheter into the internal jugular vein with ultrasound guidance. Attach your connector, draw blood and flush and then place a biofilm over the catheter. You now have an IV in less than five minutes and someone who had extremely difficult IV access. In case you're wondering about the safety of this technique, my colleagues and I studied this Easy IJ and published a study about its safety and efficacy in 2016. Basically, we had an 88% success rate. The procedure only took 4.4 minutes and patients reported the same pain score as having a regular IV placed. And most importantly, there were no cases of pneumothorax and we had no infections. These study lines were removed within 24 hours, so I don't recommend this procedure for long-term access. Let's talk about why not to use the easy IJ technique. I don't recommend this technique for morbidly obese patients with very large necks because once they sit up, the IV tends to kink under that weight. I also don't recommend the easy IJ in anyone who can't make their internal jugular vein big with the Valsalva technique. This includes confused patients who can't follow directions. Finally, if the patient is really sick and needs multiple medications and it's going to end up going to the intensive care unit, don't do the easy IJ. Just place a triple lumen catheter. But the good news is, if a patient already has an easy IJ and suddenly gets worse and needs a triple lumen, you can use the easy IJ site to place a wire. To do this, you can disconnect the IV and sterilize the site. And because you used an 18 gauge IV, you can feed a central line wire directly through the IV into the internal jugular vein and place the central line using the traditional method. Now that you know how to perform the easy IJ, consider using this simple and fast technique as an alternative to placing a central line in appropriate patients with difficult IV access. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.